the Cosmic Airplane was a different sort of place. We'd never had a place like that in Salt Lake City before, and, and it truly was the, the definition of a counterculture store. Um, became very meaningful to me. I mean, when I first went there, I didn't even have a driver's license. There were just so many people and things that came through there. It was a very stimulating place to be. It was re truly the heart of the counterculture. And Steve would just let people uh, do their thing, as it were, there. People, you know, I had a rack full of comic books and sci-fi and fantasy stuff there. And people, Steve was just very lenient about all of that. He couldn't afford a telephone, so there was a payphone on the wall, the legendary Cosmic Airplane payphone. But Steve, you had to pay for the payphone, and I don't mean just to put nickels and dimes in it, but you had to pay the phone company. And Steve Denver had the money to pay for it, but it never got turned off because the FBI was wiretapping it. And it, it, Steve would keep a little 3 by 5 index card next to the payphone with sayings on it. So during your conversation, you would throw something out like, the meeting's still on with Igor at midnight, right? Just to give the FBI incentive to keep paying the phone bill every month so it didn't get turned off. We didn't know what we were creating. We were the alternative bookstore. You could, you know, we had uh, alternative energy, alternative lifestyles. We had gay and lesbian material. We had huge metaphysics, fantasy, and science fiction. And we just catered to everything that you couldn't get in Salt Lake City at that time. It's hard to believe it's more than 40 some odd years ago now. But it was, and Salt Lake was a very different place. At the height of the mania in the late 70s and early 80s, we had some 30 people working at Cosmic Airplane, full and part-time employees, many of which went on to open their own businesses in later years. Endless concerts, endless political events. Uh, uh, we were just into, people, people made pilgrimages to the old Cosmic from, you know, Wyoming, Idaho, Nevada, from, from many, many western states. It was. I don't think in hindsight we realized just how good we had it at the time.